Joining me today from Grace United Church is Adrian Christofferson as well as Colleen Gronin, and they're here to talk about World Day of Prayer, which is coming up this Friday, March 12th. Thank you both for joining me. Thank you very much. So you guys are hosting a virtual event this year. Could you tell me a little bit about how it's supposed to work? Well, our virtual event has been set up through Zoom. Um, we are going to be hosting, you know, what is that, 2 o'clock. People can sign on at 2 o'clock. Um, I realize some people are going to have little technical issues and we'll kind of give some people some time to work around that. Uh, we'll get an intro from Colleen here and then we'll get started at about quarter past 2, playing what's uh, it's a recorded version from Vanuatu of the World Day of Prayer, their service. And what can people expect outside of the service then? Is it kind of just an opportunity for community discussion? And later on, yeah, after they watch it, right? Yeah, after the, the recording is done playing, we're leaving the call open until 5 o'clock. So there's a potential for about two hours of conversation. People can stay on, they can talk as a greater community I'm in, the, in the room together, or we have the opportunity to break them off into smaller groups. So whether you want to stay and just chat with somebody or you need some one-on-one -on -one time in prayer with somebody, we have that opportunity as well until five o'clock. <laughs> and you're dedicating this year's day of prayer to the memory of Betty Ann Davidson, who was an organizer for you guys for a long time. Could you just maybe talk about the impact that she had on the event in years past? She was actually involved in it for several years. Um, she was the one that hosted it when it was held in the United Church because it um, World Day of Prayer is one that goes to the United Church next year. It'll be the Catholic the year after the Anglican and then Knox Presbyterian. So she was the one that organized and got people to help the United Church part of it. And she's, um, she loved it. It was at a very inspirational time for her. She dedicated her heart and soul to it as she did the United Church itself. But she really had an impact on people that she met over the years with World Day of Prayer. And I also know that you guys wanted to communicate that all are welcome at Grace United Church. Could you maybe just speak to your level of inclusivity and how important that is? We'd like to put an invitation out to whoever you are. You know, whatever church you do or do not belong to, it doesn't matter. And before we say goodbye, for people who might want to learn more or get involved, where can they go? Your, your best bet is, is going to either our website or our Facebook page. Our website's www.graceunitedchurch.ca. And if you go to our calendar, that's the place that you're going to see where all of our events are. So you'll have a look and you'll see that World Day of Prayer in there. Um, and then on Facebook, it will be kind of left sort of close to the top for the rest of the week. So anybody that wants to have a look at that link. And I, I believe I left the link in the body of the, of the Facebook post. Thank you both so much for doing this. Okay. All right. Thank you.